Hello you, morning of day eight. Slept down there last night. Had a good sleep, bit of a lie in. It's nearly nine o'clock. I very rarely lie in, but it was a long walk yesterday. Had to keep walking to find somewhere to put the tent. And I slept, I slept well anyway, that's the main thing. You can see there's a lot of water running down here now, but there was a lot more last night and that was I could see that that was, uh, the water's been channeled up here, so that was relatively, not dry, but there was no river down there. That's why I camped in that spot. Uh, this morning, wet shoes, wet socks, but that's the way it goes walking Ireland. You can't have everything. All in all, feeling good, head good, body good, feet okay, bit wet, mind good. Let's go. How did you just get on last night? It was a, a bit of a wet one, wasn't it? Nice break in it now today. Shall we, we will make the most of it, will we? <laughs> there was a sign back there to say that I'm walking on part of what is known as St. Columban Way. St. Columban Way. Up to the left there, beyond the two sheep, is Mount Leinster in the clouds. Around 750 meters in height, which is tall by Ireland standard. And then ahead of me, the road is also in the cloud. You can see the fog or the cloud is rolling in in every direction. This really feels like a type of road that you should only reach when driving. <laughs> it doesn't feel like you should be able to walk up here. I'm really grasping at my memory here now, but the building on my right hand side over my shoulder, that was once a, like a safe house or a meeting house for the Irish rebels. They would meet in here to make their plans and hide out in the mountains. And I believe in this area, again, I'm grasping here, in this area there was a well-known ambush that took place. So wherever you go through the mountains here, there's all kinds of stories about the history of the land and the people on the land. Beautiful view unfolding there as I come down the other side of Mount Leinster. I would imagine that's County Kilkenny out there and I believe I'm still in County Carlow, albeit for a very short while. Look at all those fields and green trees, very much like a painting, this one.
think the next town, well I know the next town has much better food options. So I'm gonna have something to keep me going. I'm something really big when I get there. <laughs> A girl across the way did offer to let me inside the bar to sit down if I wanted. But it's just as nice out here today. Boris, a small, attractive town. I've been here before. The only thing I think it's missing, and not because it's what I would have wanted, but I think the community would benefit from having a small coffee shop, a communal area where people meet for coffee. And I don't mean the pub, and I don't mean the hotel that's half a pub, that's half coffee, that's a halfway house, that's half this, that, and the other. I mean somewhere that's a designated meeting point for tea and coffee. Otherwise, I love Boris. <laughs> I'm replying to comments. Something I became aware of a few years ago about the type of trips I take is that my adventures often take me right through somebody else's normality, somebody else's everyday life, everyday area. And I think it's true of everyone that we can take what's on our doorstep for granted and we can forget to notice where we are and what we have available to us. And I'm sure there's even people in this area that go for a walk along the River Barrow each day or each weekend and maybe have to remind themselves of how beautiful it is here. Like, look at this. 